We next turn our attention to the middleweight ranks and about scheduled for three three-minute rounds. This Congolese warrior debuts a winner of 11 of his last 12 fights. Please welcome Ulrich Bokeme. Ulrich Bokeme making his glory debut tonight. Boy, they threw him right in the fire, didn't they, as he faced Yushri Belgari? Yeah, he's had a big test in front, of him, uh, in front of him, but he's got a great record. 30 wins, two losses, 17 knockouts. I mean, he does have some good wins on his career. He's fought Philippe, uh, Philippe Verlinden, Yassine Agen. So, I mean, he has had bigger fights, but nothing as big as Belgari. How does he beat the big, tall, strong Yushri Belgari? Well, he knows Belgari's knees are dangerous, so I think he's got to move on the outside and pressure when necessary. He has twice been on the doorstep of a world title and begins that climb again tonight. Here is Yusri Belgari. We just saw an extremely nasty cut that Johan Congolo suffered. Belgari knows all about those types of cuts. Alex Pereira busted him wide open last year. Yeah, and he also gave the same kind of cut to Jason Wilness. So, I mean, they've had a lot of good experience with his knees, and this is what makes the tall Belgari really dangerous. He can throw those knees up at different angles, and speaking to him in the pre-fight interview, he wants to get back to his kicks, his knees, be able to mix his boxing, get back to his old style. Here is our tale of the tape. Yusri Belgari ranked number four in the world, fighting out of Tunisia by way of Holland. As for Burkime, six foot three with a 77 inch reach. With professional experience, white one fight edge for Bokeme, but you gotta think a lot of the experience and glory. This is 10, uh, 11 fights now for Yusri Belgari, former title contender, so he has the advantage in the glory ring. We were once again scheduled for three three-minute rounds in Glory's middleweight division. And introducing first, fighting out of the black corner. He's a 2012 Swiss and European champion. His professional record impressive. 30 wins with just two losses. 17 of those wins coming by way of knockout. He makes his Glory debut tonight in Dusseldorf. He stands six feet three inches tall, 1.90 meters, and he weighed in at 186.7 pounds, 84.7 kilos. Fighting tonight out of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Ulrich, the Black Phantom, Bo His opponent standing on my right and fighting out of the white corner, a contender tournament champion who won four of his first five glory starts. As a professional, 25 wins with six losses, 13 of those wins coming by way of knockout. He stands six feet five inches tall, 1.96 meters, and he weighed in at 187.2 pounds, 84.9 kilograms. He fights tonight out of Tunisia. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Yusri Felgari. Your referee in charge of this contest is Tobias Gerald.
Gentlemen, you understand the rules you're fighting to. Protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Touch glove if you like. Back to the corners. Judge! Ulrich Bokeme told us yesterday, yeah, Judge. I'm a little bit nervous, I'm a little Judge. bit anxious. It's the biggest night of my career. And he Fight. gets Yusri Belgarwi here in his glory debut, scheduled for three rounds. Belgarwi said he's been kicking and kneeing to the start of his career, focused on his boxing. And now, right away, he wants to get to the roots. So going back to the kicks and knees. It's a big challenge for Bokeme right out of the gates. But if he can pass this test, he's just beaten a top five fighter in glory in his debut. Yep, it's a, it's a great opportunity, especially having 32 professional fights. Sometimes you just got to go, take the chance. Glory doesn't call you that often. When that phone rings, you better be able to answer and be ready to fight. Bokemi's coming with a really high guard, respecting the, the power punches of Belgarwi. Nice kick there from Belgarwi. Going low, where he's just peppering him with kicks. Yep, I'm going to expect some knees from Belgarwi soon, especially with that high guard of Bokemi. It opens up knees well. It's still just incredible for me to imagine being able to make someone like Belgarwi at six foot five to be able to make that middleweight weight class of 187. It's just a monster in this He's division. Huge. Clubbing right hand for Belgarwi. Bukeme still just trying to find his footing here. Yeah, he needs to just stay patient. I think this is a smart move. Don't get too aggressive right now. Feel the ring, feel the power of Belgarwi. And then try to open up as, as the fight goes on. Last thing you want is to open up early and get finished in the first round. Because Belgarwi's got that finishing power. Back-to-back -back fights involving fighters from Switzerland. That's where McKinney fights out of Geneva. He does fight under the Congolese banner. That's where his parents immigrated to Europe from. And they were 20 years old. Nice counters now from Bokemi. Starting to get a little bit more comfortable. The middleweight champion right now is Alex Pereira. Only problem is he's also the interim light heavyweight champion as well. So which title does he want to defend first? And can he keep both times? The way he's fighting, it seems like it. Body kick there from Bokeme. Yeah, he seems to be a little bit more comfortable with Belgari's height and style. Fight. Looks like Belgari wanted to angle and power punch. Just missing with that knee was Bill Garwe. Yep, that's that scissor knees that he's good with. Didn't learn a lot about Ulrich Bokeme in that first round. We know a lot about this man, Yusri Bill Garwe. He beat Alex Pereira to win a contender tournament at Glory 40 Copenhagen, but Pereira obviously would get his revenge. Smart guy too, Bill Garwe. He's done commentary for our Dutch compatriots at Veronica Television. So he does glory commentary there when he's not fighting and outside the ring. He has a degree in public governance and management. And he just recently got married too. His opponent, Ulrich Bokeme, born and raised in Geneva, Switzerland. Signature strike, those hooks and knees. He's a tall, tall fighter. I mean, and he's got a lot of explosive power when he opens up. He played on the Swiss national soccer team, but a knee injury forced him out. So he got into kickboxing instead, which seems odd if you have a knee injury, but very successful career for him so far. Ready? Fight! Let's see if Bukeme settles in a little bit here in round two, gets a little more comfortable. Right, step back. Even at the end of that first round, he's felt more comfortable. Obviously not enough to win, but now he knows he's got to start opening up. He's got to let his hands go a little bit more. Yeah, it's one thing to, to survive, and it's another thing to fight to win. Ooh, that high kick grazed the temple. Bukeme still upright for now. Yeah, a lot of good kick fighting from both gentlemen. No 
Watch your head. Wide punch there from Bokimic. Yusri oh. Belgaro trying to bounce back from a unanimous decision loss to Donovan Bisa in his last fight back in May. Yeah, he's been alternating wins and losses, so he really needs to find some momentum, find himself, and I think he's content at rebuilding and trying to work his way back up the ranks. He's in no rush to get back. He's still young. There's a knee from Bukimic. Fighting out of the 12-12 Singto Jim. There's Bukemi now opening up his hands. Five fights on this card tonight, five weight classes. These are the middleweights. Coming up next, light heavy, then it's heavyweight, then it's lightweight. Bukemi doesn't think that Belgari has the greatest chin. He said, if I can catch him with my left hook, he's going to be in trouble. Nice step left knees from Belgari. Expecting to go upstairs with those knees soon. Under a minute to go here in the second round. Well, Kimmy does have a win over glory veteran Philippe Verlinden from last year. So he's beaten some, some guys with some experience, Joe. Yeah. And he, he doesn't seem like he's, you know, overmatched here. I mean, Belgari is pressuring, but he's staying calm. He's fighting back. He's not showing signs of the defeated fighter, just, just not doing enough against the, the experience that Belgari has. And that size difference. Good low kick for Bikimi, an inside low kick. Oh, spinning back fist and a good one from Belgaro. Be sure to visit Glory's Facebook page. Stay up to date on the latest Glory news, social media features, promotions, and so much more. That's Glory Facebook. You can see that head kick. Almost did some big, nasty work, but Belgari kind of mixed that up as a question mark, changing angles with it. And then he just kept coming forward, really mixing his kicks and knees really well. And that spinning back, this was right on target, right with the right part of the glove. Spin, just as you see Bokemi throwing the low kick. Beautiful timing from Belgari. Here's our glory girls. Bella and Laura. Three minutes to go. Let's see how the judges scored that second round. Are any of them buying what Bokeme is selling? No. So Bokeme needs a knockdown. Yep, he's going for it. He seems to be a lot more aggressive in this third round. He's definitely comfortable now. Stop. Time. 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 Listen to my commands, okay? You understand? Time in. Fight! Stop! Fight! Sense of urgency here for Bukeme. Who started very slow in round one, picked it up in round two. That right hand getting closer. He's coming aggressive now, mixing in his knees with his boxing. And you can hear him every time he throws, he, he lets that energy out. He makes a noise, helps him generate that power. Total strikes pretty close, considering that Belgarwi has won both rounds on all five judges' scorecards. And both both guys are kicking really well. Stop! 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 Time. It's a warning. Watch your head, okay? You understand what I'm saying? Okay, come in. Fight! Stern warning there from Tobias Gerald to Bokime. Minute 45 here to go in the last round. 
Lukimi, though, looks like a different fighter here now. Yeah, he much more fast than out. Yeah, a lot more aggressive. He'll probably go back and watch this and wonder, why wasn't I doing that earlier? Well, he's feeling it out. I mean, I don't think it was a bad strategy. He's still losing, you know, both rounds. But I'm thinking Belgar, we may have thought it was an easier fight. Who knows? Oh, nice right hand. Bokemi landed a right hand. His corner thinks they hurt Belgaru. Seems like Bokemi has got the more snap in the punch. Another spinning back fist attempt. Under a minute to go. Let's see if Bokemi can muster up something special here tonight. Kimmy told us it would be his left hook that could put Belgarwi down. Yep, and he says his knees too, which again is harder against a, a tall opponent, but he's landing some now in the clinch. So that will do it. Fight! Ulrich Bokeme certainly show oh, the little rolling thunder attempt from the big fella. That's something I've never seen from him. He showed he belonged, though, Bokeme. Yeah, I, I, I believe so. I mean, first round was slow, but he got comfortable and, and started doing some good work, countering, trying to be first, landed some punches and, and good knees. I mean, he survived. The decision when we return to Dusseldorf. He thinks he's Floyd Mayweather, but he's Luis Tafares. He can say whatever he wants. I'm ready. I know I'm ready. He has to be ready uh, this Saturday because uh, I'm, I'm here to take the W. He's known as a knockout fighter, but I have more knockouts. He wants to kill me, right? So I have to kill him first. If it's by knockout or a, a three-round victory with a dominant performance, I take both of them. But I'm going to win, for sure. Uh, good fight. I think it's a very good fight. Two, uh, two different styles. So we're going to see. I go for the kill, you know. We welcome you back to Germany. Glory 69 Dusseldorf highlights from Bokime and Belgarwi. Yep. Great first round from Yusri Belgarwi. Staying long, mixing his strikes. He wanted to showcase his kick in the knees again. And he did just that. Landed a good right high kick. Continued to pressure. Still winning these first two rounds. but. A better second round for Bokeme, but still two rounds up for Belgari going into the third. Belgari continued to pressure, mix his strikes, trying to find his knees. And there he tried that rolling thunder. Not the greatest looking kick, but he tried. <laughs> A for effort. Yusri Belgari, 87 of 169 landed strikes. Bokeme not that far behind with 80 landed out of 154. Belgari started to pull away, though, in the third round. 12 more strikes landed in the third. Here's Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of stand-up combat, we go to the judges' scorecard. Let's take a look at the totals. Two of our ringside judges score them out 29-28. The three remaining judges all see it 30-27. A unanimous decision, all for your winner, Eustre Belgari. All right, I'm here with your winner, Yusri Belgari. You got the win, man. How you feeling? I feel good. It was necessary. 
You said you wanted to come in, mix your strikes a little bit more, go a little old school with your kicks and knees. Were you happy with it? Yeah, I'm happy with the kicks and the knees. Only uh, I told myself I'm not taking one step back with this fight, and I did. But I was fighting a bull, so we cl clenched heads a lot of times, but I liked uh, to fight him. Was this a, a tougher fight than you expected? No, no, I, I never thought he would be an easy fight. Uh, but you can never know how the fight goes. But something like this, I thought. So what do we have to do to keep improving and get back to title contention? Yeah, just gonna get back, re review the fight, keep on growing. All right, well, congratulations on the win. We'd like to see you soon. Let's hear it for Yusri Belgarwi.